As we near the end of Paul's letter to the Galatians, our verses for today are from chapter 6, verses 9 and 10. And they have a lot of good advice and wisdom. Paul writes, So let us not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. So then, whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all, and especially for those of the family of faith. Let us not grow weary in doing what is right. Uh, it can be easy to get tired and weary when especially you don't see hope, you don't see change happening, uh, and you wonder, well, why am I doing this? Why am I working so hard to try to do what is right? Uh, and it doesn't seem to make a difference. Or can one person trying to do what is right really make any difference at all? And Paul is first of all encouraging you and me don't grow weary in well-doing or doing what is right. Keep at it, uh, for we will reap at the harvest time. And he uses that image of a farmer who has to work for months and months and months before you finally get a harvest and you get to see fruit for your labor. And in the same way, he says, we will reap at harvest time like a farmer if we don't give up. You know, sometimes just showing up one more day trying one more time, persisting, being determined, being resilient, uh, will help us to reap at the harvest time and to see success. And part of why these verses stood out for me and why I picked them for a devotional is also Paul saying, whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all. This is something that I fear is really lacking in our country. Uh, people just aren't thinking of what is good for all. People think of their tribe, their group, uh, whoever they have affinity with, and people aren't thinking of what is good for all. And Paul is saying that should be the focus in the church. Uh, let us work for the good of all. But very importantly, he's saying the good of all here in the most general sense, because the phrase that follows is, and especially for those of the family of faith. So part of what Paul is advocating for you and for me as Christians is we should be working in our common shared life in a community where we live, in our nation. We should be working for the good of all. Are you doing that? Am I doing that? Are the people who you follow and vote for and support and give money to and listen to on TV and radio and online, are they doing that? Are they working for the good of all? I would urge you, if they are, that's terrific, and keep on listening and supporting and voting for them. And if they're not, Paul would say, you need to think hard about where are you giving your support? Because we are to do and to work for the good of all, both those in the family of faith and those outside.